All right, guys, this is how you unblock your root chakra. Putting aside the word root chakra, we could just talk about what this area, what type of energy this area tends to hold. So it's energy related to security, survival, safety, money, food, those sorts of things. Um, your sense, like your primordial sense of well-being. So um, I feel like every single person within the past year or two can say that at some point they were, they felt some imbalance in one of those areas I just said. So a common one is like worrying about money or it's like worrying about safety. Like, oh, am I safe in this situation? Um, those are really common ones. Um, being stressed, right? Maybe like working a lot and being stressed and like, why are you working a lot? I mean, you're working them more than you should be working because you're worried about money <laughs> or you're worried about this or you're going through all the, you're taking all these actions uh, behind a fear. It just amplifies it. So I'm like, you're concerned about money. You're like, okay, I need to go work more because I'm afraid I'm not going to have enough money. It's just amplifying that imbalance. Like, oh, I don't feel safe. I'm going to go buy some guns. So then, so then they'll help me feel safe. You're just amplifying that fear. Um, so those are some examples, right? So how do you um, begin to even unblock that, right? So first off, just take a moment. Just stop. Just stop what you're doing or what you were thinking about doing in that moment. Save this video because this will be helpful to pull up and review while you're in the moment. So you're in a moment, you're like, ah, I'm freaking out. <laughs> it feels very much like a freaking out energy, this sort of energy. Um, so just take a, take a moment and just breathe. Guys, deep breaths. In and out, in through the nose, out through the mouth. Let's do another one. Okay, if you're watching this later, I want you to pause this, or whenever you watch this, pause this. I want you to do that breath 13 times. One is new beginnings, one is control. One is you're, you're steering the ship. Three is communication. So it's communicating to your body like I am in control now. <laughs> I am in control of this situation. Do the 13 breaths. Next thing that you're going to want to do is you're going to want to take an action. Do whatever you need to do to resolve the situation. And if it cannot be resolved in this moment right now, then do nothing. So example might be, let's say that you are, you're like, you realize that you're going to be late on an important bill and you're like, oh, if I don't get it paid by this time, I'm going to charge a late fee or something. You're like, oh my God, this is raising my anxiety. I am stressed out. So, and that, and, and, and you realize, oh, I could take on an extra shift at work or I could do this extra thing and then that would give me the income to pay the bill so then it wouldn't even be an issue. Okay, so go and take that shift, whatever, right. Um, or you're like, oh, I can I can ask so-and-so to give me some money. I could just ask them for money and they'll help me. Okay, great. Um, and so you don't have food, blah, blah, blah. Um, you could look up food shelters in your area right? You could apply for SNAP benefits, right? So there's some, there's some, there's things that you may be able to do in the moment to initiate the process. But if it's something like, um, you're worried about a review you have coming up at work with like, it's time for your quarterly review. You're nervous. You feel like there's definitely some mistakes that you made. You don't know if they know about it, but maybe they do. And you're worried you might lose your job or, it might be like you are late on your rent. You're you're gonna incur a late fee, and 
there's there's no option that you have there's nothing you can do right now to resolve that it's just you have to let things sort of play out as they are in that situation then what you need to do is that you have to act as if everything is totally fine <laughs> Right? Like you've already, you're already feeling the emotions, right? You already felt the stress, the anxiety. You already felt that. You don't need to bask in it. You took your breaths. You've brought yourself back to a place of calmness. Now you need to align to the reality where this all is resolved. And so you're going to do that by doing something that you would do if everything was good. So for me, for me, that's getting in a hot tub. That's going out to the pool. That's, I put on my swimsuit. I'm like, I look cute. I look good. I'm like, mm, I get in a hot tub. I relax. Sometimes I go swimming in the cold pool. Sometimes I go back and forth. I listen to music. I just vibe. I'm having a good time. And that's one of the things I love to do just on any given day. But if I am feeling stressed or whatever, whatever, and I need to shift my mood, I go do that. I'm cush. So the whole point of doing that is to get your body out of a state of flight or flight, <laughs> fight or flight, to get your body out of a state of fight or flight so that you can actually be receptive to receiving a solution so you can actually begin to align to the frequency where everything is resolved so it can begin to resolve itself. Because if you go into these situations trying to resolve it from a place of fear, it's just going to make it all worse. You won't be able to see the way. So you've got to shift your vibration so that you can actually uh, resolve the problem. And a lot of times, most of it is energetic. 